Welcome, I'm Teresa Sigmund, founder of Seam Sensational and creator of the Sew Like a Pro training series. Today we are filming on location in the Beaverton Ballroom. I have with me Pat, who has been a client of mine and a friend of mine for well over like 15 years or so, we're thinking. Now, what I want to talk to you today is about a standard gown and how to choose a dress that fits your body shape and size and what to do if it's slightly out of date for the current trend and that you need to change it a little bit. So let's run through what works and what doesn't work on this dress. For the most part, I think everything kind of works here. I, I love this dress. The asymmetrical line we do fairly often on Pat. I think it's a really good look on her. If you look at her hips, one hip curves slightly more than the other side. So a couple of things go on to help minimize that. One is the asymmetrical line, and it also, an asymmetrical line in standard, which is what she's wearing this dress for, adds some nice diagonal twisting movement. So it kind of emphasizes your dance frame. The sleeves on this are, Pat's lost some weight since I made the dress. I think overall the sleeves are a little loose, but not bad. There are detachable floats that go with this dress, which we did not put on just to not convolute the, the photo here. On this side, we've got a really fun green accent, which I will just pull up this so that you can see. You can do this. I actually have offer a program that teaches you how to do this with lats and skate or, as you can see, ball gowns. It's the advanced program number one. You can do this with any color, with any type of fabric. And then this beautiful um, velveteen mesh over it is just fantastic. Then go ahead and keep going. With your detachable floats, you, they could be navy. I think yours are navy, Mine are navy. But we could also do this same Granny Smith apple green and it would be perfectly fine. Go ahead and keep going. Or you could do a combination of both color floats if you want or whatever colors you have on yours. So as far as fit goes in here, this is really, really nice. It fits nice in the bust area. I mean, I, it really is about perfect in the bust area. If you've got a lot of gathers right here, you probably don't want to invest in a dress unless you know how to fix it. The one thing I would change on this dress to update it is the skirt. When this dress was originally made, dresses in both American style and standard were very sleek and streamlined. Now they're quite a bit more voluminous. They have more layers of skirt and they have usually fishing line in the hem. Sometimes they'll even have ruffles hanging off or little tendrils of fabric. So if you were going to buy this dress and wanted to update it as much as possible, I would come in, maybe add in, right now there's only two layers of skirt, if your budget allows, add in a third skirt, so you've got three layers. It'll just tuck right underneath here, and put fishing line in all the layers. It's a really economical way to update the dress instantly. If you want to be a little more labor intensive, come in here with some really nice soft ruffles or chiffon tendrils that match this mesh, and then that would just give a little bit of volume that's appropriate for today's fashion trend, but yet would be really easy to remove, I'd say a year or two down the road when it's all finished. And both of these, or this, both of these dresses, she's only wearing one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this dress has a built-in leotard, so she's got everything she needs to cover the tush, the built-in bra, everything. That's the way I like to make dresses because it's less for, you know, for the, the dancers to carry it around with them. So that is it for this training video. I hope you've been able to take a few, <laughs> I hope you've been able to take a few nuggets from this. If you had a great time here, go to seamsensational.com, sign up for the blog, and definitely forward this to one of your dancing or skating friends. I'll see you again soon. Record. Thanks. Nice. It's kind of fun. You're doing awesome. <laughs>